Welcome to Too Fond of Books. My name is Janelle and this is another Countdown to World Book Day video. World Book Day is tomorrow. And so I wanted in this video to give you some ideas of activities for World Book Day. What can you do, especially this year, when we are all confined to our homes for World Book Day? Here are some activity ideas for you uh, to celebrate World Book Day in your house. Read out loud. Make a list of your favorite books. It's actually really fun to just sit down and think through which books are your favorite, why are they your favorite, and it's actually, I find it not very easy to, to list my favorite books, but it would be a fun activity for sure. Buy a book. Buy a book online. You can buy a book from your um, local bookstore if they've got online options available, and there are plenty of online stores uh, selling books, so buy a book. Post about your favorite book on social media. Share a favorite book quote on social media. Research your favorite author. There is a world available at your fingertips through Google. And so yeah, just do some research and find out more about your favorite author. Where did, did they live? Where do they live? When were they born? Uh, what is their writing process? Anything like that. Just do a little bit of research. Look up the location of the book you are currently reading on Google Maps. If food or a meal is mentioned in the book that you're currently reading, see if you can make a meal out of that yourself. Uh, you may need to be brave. Sometimes weird food is described in the books that we are reading, but it might be fun to just make note of the, the food that they're eating and see if you can recreate it. Play a game of Pictionary draw the story from a famous book. And so again, you can do this with your family. You know, uh, write the names of some famous books, put them in a bowl, and if it's your turn, you draw a name of a book and you just start drawing the story and everyone has to guess what the book is. You can watch a YouTube video of someone reading a story. There are now plenty of these on YouTube of people reading uh, short stories or poetry or children's stories. So find a YouTube video and let someone read you a story. Read a book and then watch the movie or TV adaptation of it. Listen to an audiobook. Or play the first sentences game. This is a fun game. So each player will choose five to ten of their favorite books, books that they know well. And then from that pile, the other player will choose two to five books to read the first sentence from, and you have to see if you can guess what the book is from the first sentence alone. And this is a, re a really fun game. No peeking, uh, so if you have a stack of, of um, five to ten books and you choose two to five, that way you're not guaranteed to know which one it is because you, you know, you chose five books and you're reading the sentences from those five books. So yeah, it's just a really fun little game to play together. Or uh, you could turn your favorite story into a comic strip. If you're a little more creative, you know, draw out um, a comic strip on a piece of paper and then draw out your favorite story. There are plenty of activities. So how are you going to spend World Book Day? And I will see you tomorrow for World Book Day!